Go and find some fish, Michael. Yeah. It's a lot more coloured than I thought it was going to be. I'm not sure. I know we had all that rainy other day, but I thought it'd take a lot longer for it to reach this part of the canal, if I'm honest. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. Let's try the old lilies. Beautiful little lilies. It is, isn't it? Is there? Yeah. Well, there we are, mate, back out on the canal again. Back on the canal. So we're on the hunt again for perch today. I'm on the micro fry from the last session, and what are you on? I want one of these. Ah. A little spro. A little spro. Street shad thing. I don't even know what it's called. It's getting more coloured as we're going down. Yeah. Like a bit of colour. Yeah. It's like a sack. Is that a sack or is that weed? That's weed, isn't it? The bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Pads coming up. Oh, that's a log, isn't it? Banks are getting higher, aren't they? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Took it under my feet here. <laughs> a bit wrapped up. I don't think he knew what happened to him then. He, um, I just saw him come and open his mouth at my feet and before he knew it, he was out the water. But um, yeah, a nice little wasp to start the day. Beautiful. One for the future, that's for sure. Pop him back in there. There he goes. Yep. We have a perch. Nice. Hooked lovely in the top. First little perch of the session. Not a big one, but we will find them. Let's get down here and get them out. Off you go, mate. Where he goes. Well, at least we're both like not blanking. Exactly. I'm only like 25 minutes in. Nice man, I'll do one more this side. Sounds quite beefy, isn't it? Yeah. A motorbike? Oh. So yeah, that's all we've got today. Is um, well, it's not all we've got today. Obviously, got about three hundred thousand other lures in my bag, but this is what we're starting on. Um, it's a 0.5 gram jig head, and this tiny little spro shad. I forget the actual name of them, to be fair, but um. It's got a nice contrast, so it wobbles, so you get the red belly, the luminous tail, but you've also got the dark on top, which kind of covers a multitude of conditions, really. And, yeah, already had a perch. Mikey's just had one as well. Let's hope it's not the uh, kiss of death.
quite interesting seeing the change every time we come up here. Now all the new growth coming through on the banks. It's, um, it's not going to be long until this is all pretty much unfishable up through here. You'll only have the odd swim that's cut out. The rest of it is, well, you just can't get to it. So you've got to make the most of it now. But then the rivers will be back open. Well, hey, bit of chubbing. I'm looking forward to some surface fishing for chub. Yeah. I really am. Oh, oh, that's cool. They're good like an S shape. Oh, cool. That's Just nice. to make it even worse. Yeah. 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 Might as well chuck some hand grenades off. Hey. Might as well throw some hand grenades off. Yeah. Looks like we're sea fishing. Would you like a piece of data to come up on your phone saying how many two pound plus perch you've walked past today already? Yeah, yeah I would. Yeah, I would for a day and then like a little, a little alarm. And it's like three pounder, three pounder, three pounder. I'm like, ooh. Cool, yeah. Is that you? No, it's absolutely not. It's right ahead of you, look under that tree. See, something just got tight. Well, I didn't see anything now. I did look under there. Oh, there is. There's no bird. No. Yeah. I bet he's got a hell of a pipe on him. That's a nice bit of steak there, isn't it? Oh my god, yeah. Let's go over and cut a bit off his bum and eat it. Just his fillet? Yeah. He'll be fine. Where's fillet? Is it above the stomach? It's like... It's up on the top bit, isn't it? Yeah. I couldn't tell you exactly where. No, I'd make a mess of him finding it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't understand that. I know it's like jeans and whatnot but how the hell does he get legs like that eating grass i don't know look at his balls mate they are massive oh, oh. there you go oh that's cute do you know what? if he wanted he could run up here and just yeah. plow into that jump over it oh my god what that'd would be holy rent i was so i'd go instantly in the canal <laughs> i don't think that's gonna help me I'm just going to get hurt and wet. You'd have to try and get up that tree. Yeah. Oh, they look quite cute together. Look, they're having a little cuddle. Even that, where he's eating all their nice grass. A couple of casts and a couple of pipes, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have a little sit down. Oh. That nice, mate? Bloody lovely, mate. Pretty difficult, isn't it? I'm going to mix things up a bit. We're going to go for it's quite a bit of weed in the water, so I'm going to put on a chub. 
I'm going to put on one of these easy shiners and a bluegill flash on a size 10 weedler chub hook. Yep. Got a feeling this is a pike, it's really heavy. Yeah. Yeah. I landed it over that far, it just took it on the drop. And what's that on? Oh. <laughs> nice. I don't know where the hook is. <laughs> oh, that's right on his nose there. Oh, yeah. His lure's gone though. Come on, in you go. Come on, let me get Lovely, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I, just, I was just leaving it static. I like cast out, let it go static, and then just gently pull back to like. Just to see the tension, the rod tips went thump, thump. Oh dear. <laughs> they oh yes. Got to be a little bit careful with them. Yeah. Right. Oh. You can go back, Mr. Pike. I don't want to hit you too closely. No. Nice, mate. There he goes. These are gone. So we've um, just changed from that little spro shed. I put on this, um, this squirly or squirmy to the core one. They look awesome um, in the water. Problem I had with the Ned head, obviously there's a hell of a lot of weed about. So, um, so I've changed it over. It's three gram um, on a Cheb weedless. I'm hoping that's gonna gonna work, but who knows? We'll give it 20 minutes. If not, I think I might go back to the old uh, the old June bug craw. See if see if we can get that. Brilliant. See if we can get that. To, uh, find us a, a perch or two. Right, it's time, it's going back on say back on it's going on for the first time today it's just a confidence thing you know we're not exactly smashing it today and I know my little crawls have saved me many a blank so that's what we're going for call me predictable I don't care I just want to catch some fish now really got hot down to be t-shirt look at this fine specimen of a man look at the stance on him poised and ready <clears throat> like a broken spring actually do you know what else I'm gonna have a cough sweet do you want one mate a little throat sweet No, you can't. Have had black for a long time, no. Oh. I used to buy them for school, even when I didn't have a bad throat. I used to like the um, what were the yellow lockets? Are they honey and something? Oh, see, I don't like them. Oh, yeah. Honey and lime, is it? Was it lime? Honey and lemon? Oh, okay. I don't like a fisherman's friend, though. Oh, see, I like a fisherman's friend. Yeah, I'm not a lover. Do you like 
Yeah, I like a humbug. They're just sometimes a bit, a bit hard, aren't they? Like a Werther's Original's nice, but I just want to chew it and then my teeth fall out. Oh my God, they're amazing, aren't they? That is up there with the best, for sure. Come on then, viewers and subscribers. Tell us, what's your favourite sweets? Come on. Three pound to make something there. Yep. I reckon so. Never caught a fish, Andrea. day yeah <clears throat> hard work a bit too bright in the end which is not what they forecast <laughs> it's a bit annoying but <clears throat> both we had fun Michael it was very good mate 